Principles of Assessing Exploited Fish Populations and an Introduction to the CMSY Methodology, Part 1. Hi, my name is Ola, and I'm going to walk you through the principles of assessing exploited fish populations and an introduction to the CMSY methodology. First, you need to know about the contributions of three important people. The first one is Thomas Robert Malthus. Yes, this is the very person who wrote an essay on the principle of population. In his book, Malthus proposed a simple exponential growth model, which is based on the idea that each population has an intrinsic growth rate which he estimated at about 2% per year for humans. In exponential growth, a population's per capita growth rate stays the same, regardless of population size, making the population grow faster and faster as it gets larger. The Malthusian model looks like this. NT equals N zero times E to the R multiplied by delta T, where N zero is the initial number of individuals in the population at time T, NT is the population size after a time delta T. E is Euler's number 2.718, and R is the intrinsic rate of population increase. The other person you need to know about is Pierre-François Verhulst, who developed the logistic growth model in a series of three papers published between 1838 and 1847. Verhulst's logistic curve looks like this. dn over dt equals nt times r times 1 minus nt over k. Where dn over dt is the growth rate of the population, in other words, the change in number of individuals in the population per change in time, nt and r are, as defined previously, the intrinsic rate of population increase. nt is the population size after a time delta t, and k is the carrying capacity, which is the maximum number of individuals that a given ecosystem can sustain. When the population is at carrying capacity, then it cannot grow further, or, in other words, dn over dt equals zero. This means that there is a difference between the intrinsic growth rate r and the realized growth rate of a population rt, which depends on its size relative to carrying capacity. In other words, rt equals r times 1 minus nt over k. If a population is close to carrying capacity, the realized growth rate is low and tends towards zero, even though its intrinsic growth rate remains high. In other words, the population may have a potentially high growth rate, but it cannot grow because there are too many individuals competing against each other for resources. Thus, the name intrinsic growth rate for R, which is realized only at low population sizes. The logistic equation, on the other hand, features realized population growth rates dn over dt, which are low at low population sizes, high at intermediate population sizes, and low again when the population approaches carrying capacity. The realized population growth rates can be understood as surplus production, which enables a population to recover after an external factor, such as fishing, reduced the population. If the population's growth were not limited, which is what the term 1 minus nt over k tells us, it would increase forever. Finally, the third scientist you need to know about is Milner B. Schaefer, whose model built on Verhulst's logistic curve but with population numbers replaced by population biomass. Also, Schaefer defined surplus production as yield, whose maximum value is maximum sustainable yield or MSY. Schaefer's model looks like this. dB over dt equals y equals bt multiplied by r multiplied by 1 minus bt over b0, where dB over dt is the growth rate of the population or yield y, r is the intrinsic rate of population increase as defined previously. Bt is the biomass at time t, and B0 is the carrying capacity of the ecosystem for this population. Note that B0 is the same as k in the previous equation, and that it is so-called because before a population becomes exploited, at time 0, its biomass more or less corresponds to carrying capacity.
Schaefer's model also implies MSY equals B0 multiplied by R over 4, or MSY equals K multiplied by R over 4, given K equals B0. Understanding these equations will help you get a good grasp of the underlying principles of fisheries stock assessments on which the data poor model called CMSY is based. In the next video, we will learn about the elements that make up the CMSY model.